If you're a Photoshop user and you've got a partner who isn't a Photoshop user and you go away on holiday and you bring back a whole load of photographs, you will recognize what I'm about to say. OK, could you take all the photographs and put them into Photoshop and make them all look better? Oh, great. OK, right. Let's take a look. Here's an old folder, 2008 years ago. Let's just pick a picture at random. Here we are, and fit it on the screen. All right, now, I know there's going to be certain things I'm going to be doing with this again and again and again. All right, I've got to adjust this. Let's come to our adjustment layers. Always use these in preference to just try to work directly on the layer itself because adjustment layers, you can tweak them to your heart's content. So what I'm going to do first, brightness, contrast, levels, rows, uh, curves, exposure. I normally put exposure first. And I tend to use levels. I could use curves, but I find levels just to be a little bit quicker to work with. Okay, and what else do I use? Color balance. Yep, I use that quite a lot as well. And vibrance as well, which I find to be quite useful. And then I'll go through this. Okay, let's take a look. Exposure. Okay, maybe a little bit overexposed. Levels. Okay, I want that white looking a lot whiter. A little bit more crispness in the black. Color balance. Okay, midtones. A little bit too much green in there. So let's take that down a little bit there. And highlights. That's made a little bit brighter. And if I've done that to the highlights, if I've put yellow in the highlights, let's try a little bit of blue in the shadows to balance it all out. And finally, vibrance. Okay, I like vibrance. I can increase the dollar colors whilst not overblowing the more intense colors. So I'll take that to about there. I'll go with that for now, and then I'll go with the next picture, and the next picture, and the next picture, and load up all these things here. Well, there is a quicker way to do it, and that is by using the Actions palette. It speeds up your workflow no end. Let's take a look at it. OK, the picture's back to its original state now. I'm going to come to Window, and come down to Actions. There's my Actions palette. Now, I want a way to group the actions, because once you get into the swing of them, you tend to use them more and more. So I'm going to come down here to where it says New Folder, and I'm going to call this Drippy Cat. I've got my folder now, so now I want to create a new action. So, create a new action, and let's call this Photo Work 01. And now, get ready to record. So now you can see this little red light down here. That means whatever you do now will be recorded in the set of actions. As before, I'm going to start applying adjustment layers to this. And I'm going to come to exposure first, then levels, then color balance, then vibrance. That's it. Now, actions, still recording, and then press stop. OK, that's it. I don't need to do any more than that. OK, so I've cleared my screen. I'm ready to start doing all this tedious editing. So I'll come to File, Open, come to, say, that file there, to that file there, and our wonderful holiday. All right, so I've got this one. Now, rather than dragging down the adjustment layers one by one, I can just simply come, I can minimize the actual set of actions. Come to PhotoWork 01. Now, watch what happens in the Layers palette when I press Play. Bang, they're all there immediately. Now, over the course of, what, 80 or so photographs from a summer's worth of photographs, that's going to save me a lot of time, and I can come into any one of these at any time and start making my various different adjustments. This is a very simple example of actions, just to get the principle. You can combine actions with droplets, and in the next video, I'm going to show you how I saved, and this is not an exaggeration, how I saved months' worth of development time when doing the graphics for Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, maybe you consider clicking on one of the links below and check out my game called Disco Baby, which is on the iTunes Store or Android stores like Google Play. It has three different games in it, a memory game, a maths game for children, and a dance-along-with-me game for toddlers to join in with. Thanks for your time.